they say AI is becoming super intelligent. But neuroscientists have discovered a fatal flaw in AI's code. There are five specific brain functions that require a biological body, a beating heart, and the knowledge of death to operate. If you possess these, you aren't just smarter than ChatGPT. You are operating on a level of consciousness no machine can ever reach. 1. Embodied Wisdom AI has never felt the weight of exhaustion in its bones or the knot of anxiety in its stomach. And that's not a bug. It's a fundamental limitation. Your body is your first brain. Every emotion you feel, every intuition you have, starts not in your thoughts but in your flesh. That tension in your shoulders when someone lies to you, the lightness in your chest when you're around someone you trust, these aren't random. They are your nervous system processing millions of data points your conscious mind simply can't reach. Consider a master chef. After 10,000 hours, they can tell if dough is ready just by touch. AI can analyze the chemical composition, measure the gluten development, calculate the exact hydration percentage, but it will never feel when it's right. Because knowing and feeling are not the same thing. Here's the neuroscience. You have 500 million neurons in your digestive system alone. Your vagus nerve creates a superhighway between your gut and your brain. When you get a gut feeling, that's not mystical intuition. That's your enteric nervous system sending signals your conscious mind translates into knowing. Antonio Damasio, neuroscientist at USC, spent decades proving this. Consciousness requires a biological substrate experiencing the world. AI can simulate. But simulation is not experience. Every time you've had a gut feeling that turned out right, that was your embodied intelligence. Something no AI will ever possess. 2. Emotional intuition. AI can recognize that you're angry, but it has never felt anger. And that difference is everything. Think about the last time someone said, I'm fine, but you knew they absolutely were not fine. What told you? Not their words. Not their facial expression. You felt the dissonance. You sensed the emotional undertow beneath the surface. This is emotional intuition. It comes from having experienced emotions in your own body. When you comfort a friend, you're not running a pattern-matching algorithm. You're drawing on every moment you've felt heartbreak, every time you've needed someone to just sit with you in silence. You know what to say, or what not to say, because you've lived inside that pain yourself. Here's what happens in your brain. Your amygdala and insula create what neuroscientists call somatic markers, physical feelings attached to emotional experiences. When you sense someone's lying, your body recreates a micro version of the discomfort you felt when you lied and got caught. That's not analysis. That's embodied memory. AI can identify grief in text with 90% accuracy, but it has never felt the crushing weight of loss. The strange emptiness that follows you for months. The way grief on Tuesday feels different than grief on Sunday. How the same loss hits differently at 3 in the afternoon versus 3 in the morning. Every awkward interaction you've navigated, every person you've comforted. That required emotional intelligence AI can only simulate, never possess. 3. Contextual wisdom from lived experience. A baby learns to recognize faces from seeing just 10 to 15 people. AI needs millions of images. Because babies aren't learning patterns. They're living relationships. There is a massive gap between learning from data versus learning from experience. Data is abstracted, stripped of context, frozen in time. Experience is embodied, emotional, and embedded in the flow of life. 
Your grandmother didn't give you advice by googling how to handle difficult people. She gave you wisdom from 80 years of lived failures and wins. She knew that sometimes you need to speak up, and sometimes you need to let it go. Not because she read it in a book, but because she lived through both and felt the consequences. Consider an experienced emergency room doctor. They walk into a room, glance at a patient, and say, We need to run more tests. When pressed, they can't always explain why. The vitals look normal. The symptoms seem standard. But something feels off. That's not mysticism. That's pattern recognition, integrated with 10,000 similar cases, filtered through embodied intuition. Here's the research. Stanford neuroscientists found that babies learn language with roughly 100,000 words of input. AI language models need 300 million words, 3,000 times more data. Why? Because babies aren't just learning words. They're integrating sensory input, emotional context, social dynamics, and physical experience. You know when to break the rules because you've lived the consequences of both following them and breaking them. AI has knowledge. But only you have wisdom. 4. True metacognition. Right now, you're thinking about these words. And now you're aware that you're aware of thinking about them. AI can't do that. AI can monitor its own processing. It might say, I'm 73% confident in this answer. That's self-monitoring. But human metacognition is different. It's the ability to reflect on your own consciousness and change it. Think about this. You're in an argument with your partner. Mid-sentence, you catch yourself. You realize, I'm being defensive because my father used to criticize me this way. That's not just noticing a pattern. That's examining your mind, tracing it back to its origin, and in that moment of awareness, choosing a different response. AI optimizes. Humans transform. Here's where it gets concerning. MIT researchers ran a study where people wrote essays using ChatGPT, search engines, or just their own brains. The people who used ChatGPT showed weaker neural connectivity in areas associated with deep thinking. The people who used only their brains showed the strongest metacognitive activity and reported higher satisfaction with their work. The implication is terrifying. AI doesn't just enhance thinking. It replaces it. It atrophies your mental muscles. When you offload thought to a machine, you stop examining your own mind. And that's the muscle that makes you human. Every time you've caught yourself in a bad mental pattern and changed it, that's metacognition. That's your brain rewriting its own code in real time. 5. Meaning-making through mortality. AI doesn't know it will die. You do. And that changes everything. Every piece of art you've ever been moved by, every sacrifice you've made for someone you love, every cause you fought for. These arise from the fact that your time is limited. You create meaning because life is finite. Viktor Frankl survived Nazi concentration camps by finding meaning in suffering. He didn't just optimize for survival. Millions who did that alone didn't make it. He found purpose. He held on to the image of his wife, the thought of the book he wanted to write, the belief that his suffering could teach something valuable. That's not problem-solving. That's meaning-making. You make sacrifices today for a future you might not see. You plant trees whose shade you'll never sit under. You fight for causes that might not win in your lifetime. AI has no concept of too late. It has no sense of regret. No understanding of legacy. 
no comprehension of what it means to run out of time. Here's the neuroscience. Your prefrontal cortex integrates past, present, and future with emotional weight. It doesn't just sequence events. It assigns significance based on your awareness that you have limited time and finite energy. Every decision you make is filtered through the knowledge that one day, you will cease to exist. AI has no survival imperative. It doesn't need to eat, sleep, reproduce, or avoid death. And because of that, it will never understand why anything matters. It can tell you the most efficient way to achieve a goal, but it cannot tell you which goals are worth pursuing because that question only makes sense to something that will one day run out of time. When you create something beautiful, sacrifice for someone you love, or fight for a cause, you're exercising meaning-making intelligence that arises from your mortality. AI will never understand why that matters. But you do. So the next time someone says AI is replacing human intelligence, remember this. AI can process, but it cannot feel. It can recognize patterns, but it cannot live them. It can simulate thinking, but it cannot reflect on its own consciousness. And it can optimize for goals, but it can never understand what it means to matter. Your brain isn't competing with AI. It's operating on a different plane entirely. Your embodied wisdom, your emotional intuition, your lived experience, your metacognitive awareness, your mortality-driven search for meaning. These aren't just features. They're the foundation of what it means to be conscious. And that's not a limitation. That's your evolutionary advantage.